and we are back guys hello and welcome to another reaction video on my channel today we are going back but not just back to med rose we are going back to um a mini video series i guess we can call it that um we had customer service brain rot stories in the past and that was pretty damn entertaining you guys seemed to enjoy that as well and here we have 50 more stories of customer service brain rot this is like the um the sequel i guess and since the first one was pretty damn good we're gonna watch the second one as always link to the original video in the description below show him some love matt always does great videos and let's it going. A guy asked me for a cup of sherbet, and I said, I'll be right back with that cup of cabot. Then walked off. Yeah, we'll do some more of these. Since we last checked in at the start of the. Last time we had so many just brain fart moments, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like half of the video as well. Yeah, at Squabbery has continued to collate examples of customer service brain rot on their TikTok. Mm -hmm. But now, nice. we still have stories from the same sorts of customer service as before. I worked at McDonald's and I handed someone their order once and just said, shouldn't be too long. I'm just, I'm just imagining what the people that got the order for to themselves, like, Bro, well, we have bro, we have our food. What? Aubrey's widened the scope a little to include other types of jobs. Asked a patient if she had any allergies, and she said, yeah, "Bitches." So I laughed, saying, "Me too." And she was like, "What? Not going to anaphylactic shock?" Yeah, not bitches. It was fish. I was a zipline guide, and during this, she was wait, wait, so. She said, Yeah, not bitches, it was fish. I she said fish, and you misunderstood bitches. What? I was a zipline guide, and during the safety demo, I was trying to make a joke by asking if anyone had narcolepsy, but asked if anyone had necrophilia. A you did what? Oh my god, what the? Bro's trying to be funny and now he's on the watch list. What the? He just did that. What the? a birthday card for their dad. Then instead of saying, I hope you have a nice day, at the end, I said, Hope you have a dad. <laughs> right. I once left. <laughs> Why does that sound like such a, such a backhanded front? I hope you have a dad. What? a client a message saying just shoot me an email Real wait 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 guys they wouldn't have my email mid sentence and wait just shoot me and hung up when i were this story got so much worse the longer it went on like i thought in the beginning it was like these i thought it was like these two lions uh the, he he said like just shoot me an email i thought this was like the the brain rot which already sounds i don't know maybe a little bit weird i don't know but to me i would still be okay but i i thought initially this was like that that was the brain rot and then the longer it goes the worse it just gets what a client a message saying just shoot me an email realized they wouldn't have my email mid-sentence and said just shoot me and hung up when <laughs> i worked at a yo i'm sure this was a monday morning and he just let his intrusive thoughts out. i mean it happens to the best of us right movie theater a customer once ordered popcorn and i said oh yes please then flailed in confusion and knocked my hat off my head when i first started bartending instead of asking people if they wanted ice i said do you want glass in your drink i work do you want glass in your drink 
in a bar and once I turned around to greet a customer and instead of saying, Hi, what can I get you? I just said, Me! At my old job, a man. Were you trying to answer the question for him as well? What? I ordered a cappuccino with extra foam, but I couldn't find the option, so I panicked and put in cappuccino hard. When I was still new to my job, I accidentally charged someone one thousand three hundred forty-five dollars for a latte. Bro, what is up with that emoji afterwards? How did you? How did you manage to do that? Because, like, if you're working at a chain, like something like Starbucks or McDonald's, I think you're just basically typing in the item, and then it automatically puts in the price. So if that was the case here, that must have meant you typed in, like, bro, I orders, like, 150 lattes or something. That must have been a quite an interesting discussion. So yeah, you ordered a latte, um, $1,300, please. Like, you might as well give your kidney at that point, if that's the price for a latte. Smiling face with three hearts. I tried saying, oh, nice to see you again, to a regular, and just blurted out, I miss my teeth. No idea what Wait, let me get off the way. I niece my teeth. Like I said, brain farts. It's insane. Happened there, tried to say great, and you're welcome to a table, smiled at them, and went <laughs> once a week. Well, that's, that's what happened. We had this in the first video as well, when you just have multiple things in your mind that you want to say at the same time, and just comes out horribly. But that has happened to me as well before. While doing phone calls in customer service. That has happened to me before as well. It just happens. It's it's cringy and annoying while you're going through it, but it's whatever. It happens. And came up to me and said hi, but then I had a coughing fit for like a full minute and then looked up at her and said why. Once at the drive-through, I took this guy's order and I thought the mic went off and confidently. <laughs> Down the mic really loud. A guy called to ask if we had an item, and Oops. I accidentally transferred him to the intercom instead of the right department. He just said hello on the intercom for three minutes while I was dealing with customers. Oh. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. We just had a snowstorm, and instead of telling a what? customer to not. Three minutes. Yo, he was patient. He was patient with it. Slip, I said, have a good night and please slip and fall. My boss, one time called the store. Let me repeat that. I was kind of distracted for a second. We just had a snowstorm and instead of telling a customer to not slip, I said, have a good night and please slip and fall. My boss. Oof. I mean, he, he probably didn't even notice. If it's like. You're basically missing like a word or two. And if it's so obvious that someone would say, please don't slip and fall, maybe they didn't even notice. Maybe they didn't even notice. I said, have a good night and please slip and fall. My boss, one time called the store I worked at and my coworker Jenna answered. He asked her to, oh, you put Madonna on. Madonna's the name of our coworker. She just hung up and put Madonna on the radio. I work at McD and one time I was trying to give Kitchen a heads up they needed meat with no salt and I just yelled, two beef, no meat, over and over. Woozy face emoji, dotted line face emoji. I work at a sandwich shop and once some guy asked how big I I'm just trying to imagine this. You're in the kitchen at McDonald's, you're working there. You're already stressed out because it's fast food and it's like hectic and shit, and someone just sells, yells inside, two beef, no meat. Repeatedly. Like, bro, what do you want from me? I'm working minimum wage here. What the fuck do you mean, two beef, no meat? Beef, no meat! Over 
and over. Woozy face emoji, dotted line face emoji. I work at a sandwich shop and once some guy asked how big our full sub was and I just leaned back and said, it's, uh, well, approximately, it's, it'd be, uh, real big. Had a co-worker Ooh. asked how many pans short real I was, big. as in how many I needed, and I said, how many pans short am I? I don't know, five foot four? After working night shift, I was at customer service and the phone went off and instead of saying, welcome to shop customer services, I just whispered, cucumber service, and hung up. I worked at Dunkin' for a while and one time after this guy changed his mind four times, I just yelled, fuck! One I mean... This guy changed his mind four times. Depending on how your day was, and how long your day has been until now, I absolutely cannot blame you. Whatsoever. I mean... Like, if you've already typed in... It into the... To the registry... Reg the registry... I think that's the word for it. Or maybe I'm just... Talking gibberish. Um, if you've already typed it in, and it's like in there, and he changes his mind, that's already annoying. But if he does it four times, I cannot blame you. Four times, I just yelled, fuck! One time at my job, instead of cash or card, I asked, and would that be... Crabs? I told a guy, you're used up. <laughs> I couldn't remember how to say you used your card. <laughs> you are used up. Would be funny if it was like a super young customer. Balance. Sometimes our card machines don't let you use contact lists, so I have to ask Puppel to insert it. And one time I said to a guy, Can you put it in your bottom, please. Mm -hmm. One time while working the drive through window, I was handing guests their food and someone didn't turn off the automatic sensors, so the door shut on my ribs while I was hanging out of the window and they drove oh. off looking at me in horror and I just blurted out, Have a nice day. One time I answered the phone and noticed the customer's name on the caller ID was spelled Dillon and not Dylan. And instead of of asking, well, how can I help you? I asked, how can you spell? I was leaving a voicemail from a man named Timothy, and I was repeating his name what? in my head so I don't forget. And on the voicemail, mm -hmm. I said, okay. hi, uh, T Murney. The other day, I meant to say, oh, what's a good fun? Oof. Oof. But I, if you mumbled it, maybe it sounded like a mumbled Timothy. Who knows? Number By the way, those twos here are crazy. I've seen them a bunch of times on the internet. Never in real life, but a bunch of times on the internet. It's it's so crazy. For you, and I instead said really slowly with a blank. You meant you meant to say what's a good phone number for you? That is already such a random question a day i meant to say oh what's a good phone number for you and i instead said really slowly with a blank face what's a phone number oh, i couldn't remember the clinic's phone number what? when leaving a patient a voicemail so i said call us back at work a kid fell in the wait wait i think uh I need to get out of the way for a second so you can guys can read the whole thing. I made a bunch of noise and hung up. You couldn't remember the clinic's phone number. Couldn't you have just said, please call back this number or please call back the, the clinic? What? Like, I get it. I've been in awkward situations on the phone as well. But the easiest thing you could have done here would have just been to be like, please call us back. That's it. And if they later listen to it and they're like, wait, you didn't give me a number? It sucks, but they could like look you up on Google or something. But to make a bunch of noise and then hang up, what the fuck?
that's that's what I meant. Like s- such uh such like brain rot is is the perfect term for it. It's just a bunch of brain farts. It's like what? What the fuck did I just do? It's so random. Work, a kid fell in the water and I was holding another kid, so I had no choice but to just stare at it when it was sinking. One time I was trying What? Wait, let, let me read that on my own again. I'm not sure if I read that correctly. <clears throat> okay. At work, a kid fell in the water. Already leaving out a little bit of context because where was that it was sort of like a, a theme park a, a swimming pool or something and i was holding another kid so i had no choice but to just stare at it when it was sinking bro did you let that kid drown or something what What the fuck? When it was sinking. One time I was trying to ask a customer, you prepaid, right? And instead just stared at him and said, you pee. One time I meant. Asking. Questions, you know, just. Just some basic small talk. While he's preparing the payment, you just. <laughs> It's so fucking Say random. Beautiful. Will that be all? And all that could come out was a voice cracked battle cry of balls. I work at McDonald's and this man couldn't get his ass to work and he swore at it and called it a horn. I said, ah. Oh. Wait. He couldn't get his app to work. Oh, okay, so here's McDonald's app. Then he swore at it and called. I said, ah, oh, yeah, me too. Yo. Thumbnail time. Thumbnail time. And you just said me too. Again, context. Why did you say that? Did you understand him correctly? Once a customer asked where the bathroom is, and I meant to ask, oh, do you want me to walk you to it? But I said, oh, do you want me to bring it to you? Once. <laughs> oh, man. She was just trying to be nice, but the way she says it, it's like sounds so sarcastic and also condescending at the same time. Did you bring it to you? Oh man, that's that's unfortunate. That's a long day. That's a long day. One time, someone knocked on the bathroom door at work, and I responded with my phone speech. What? Good evening, this is Matt speaking. How can I help you? I heard a beep while sitting. Let's go back to the. Good evening, how can I help you? That's super duper random. But maybe she was just still mentally stuck in work mode. I heard a beep while sitting in class once and pressed the side of my head like I was turning a headset on. Skull emoji! Instead of asking, is that all for you today? I accidentally asked, is this stuff all for you? Oh. In a concerned voice. One. Oh no. You know, depending, depending on the customer, that would be a good laugh. But let's say it's a customer that's already like um a bit subconscious about their looks and their weight. Ouch. Ouch. Like this is like really one of those. In general, I would say like it's it's embarrassing for sure, but it really depends on who you're saying it to. Potentially, that's that's a big that's a big oof. Voice. One time, a customer was like, "I'd like two young ones," and I gave them a look and said, oh, "Sorry, you want young?" Um. Um. 
What? Ones. Yeah, I misheard. They said donuts the other day. What? How? I know I've said this before. This video already. Yeah, I misheard. But how the fuck do you misunderstand something like that? So he said donuts, and you misunderstood that this guy is a potential pedo. How the fuck? They what? Said donuts. The other day, I was trying to explain the happy hour transition into the evening menu and said, and at five, dinner time. I lost the only. Okay. That's that's pretty mild. Work stapler and we needed it, so I watched the cameras and I threw it in the bin. I was starting to bag an order for this couple and the wife what? howled at me like, like a rabid pit bull and the husband said, Oh, she wants to bag it. I asked a Wait, wait, wait. And the wife growled at me like a rabid pit bull and the husband said, Oh, she wants to bag it. So you can now you can see the whole thing. The wife fucking growled at you. What? It's it's so fucking random. Like that. That sounds like something that you are. Never, ever gonna forget. <laughs> what? Said, she was uh, trying she to be nice. To what the? It. I asked the what customer the? what kind of ice cream cone he wanted, and he said the circular one. Hmm. As opposed to what? My dad ordered a nut buster from Dairy Queen. That name already is mad. In once, one time I was ordering a banana. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's not what the product is called. Oh, I thought, I thought for sure the story was going to continue. I thought it was just a really crazy name for a menu item, and then it would continue. No, he meant he ordered a nut buster. That was the, the brain rot. That is pretty, that is pretty mad. Buster from Dairy Queen once. One time I was ordering a banana split and they asked what toppings I wanted and I... Okay. Let's... Let's see what the, what the, what the answer is. I said a banana. Oh. I mean, it's in the name. It's a banana split. I want bananas. <laughs> Even on top. I once tried to ask for a vegan cheese bean and sausage melt in gray. A vegan cheese bean and sausage melt. That's already a mouthful. Vegan cheese bean and sausage melt. Okay. Eggs and instead, with full confidence, asked for a vegan sheen and bean and once I was at a breakfast restaurant. A vegan sh a what? A vegan sheen and bean and once I was at a breakfast restaurant and I ordered eggs and the waiter said, How'd you like your eggs? And I said, I love them. She stared at me and I That's Honestly, it's such an amazing response. <laughs> like, I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure that... <clears throat> like, I'm sure... No matter how long you've been working in, in customer service or as a, as a waitress or something, I'm sure no one has replied that to that question before. How do you like your ex? I love them. I love them. <laughs> that is 
That's chokes. I left. My manager told me the one thing my co-worker did to make him yell, and I said, damn, what, like this? Then did the exact same thing. My manager told me the one thing my co-worker did to make him yell, and I said, and finally in this. Did he yell at you? Like, if the manager is a bit of an asshole, that would be very valuable in the information that you could hmm, use for something. Hmm. Not to annoy him and piss him off. Not at all. No, 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 no. And finally in this thread, and this one has nothing to do with customer service whatsoever. Okay. A classmate of mine was sad and I asked her what was wrong and she said, my dad died. But I... Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Another one of the misheard ones. Guys, real quick. What do you think she misheard? Or, or what, what she did she understand? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I have a very bad feeling with this. I what did she hear? misheard her and just said, Oh, Shakira, Shakira. What? What the fuck did you understand? That's it. That's it. that's how the video ends. No, I want to know that. What the fuck did you under? <laughs> Yo, this poor girl. What the fuck, bro? Oh my god, this poor girl. Like, what the fuck were you? What did you understand? I am genuinely curious. Oh my god, the poor girl. Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wow. That last one. Packed the punch. That's for sure. Oh my god. This poor girl. Oh my. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, moving on from that last one. That was pretty mad. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Mad Rose, once again, did not disappoint. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give him some love and follow him. He's on his road to a million subs. And if you have some suggestions, for me to react to the next time or the next video um leave them in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video and i wish you all a nice saturday have a good day and bye